Thor's are going to more than make up enough for it, ain't they? <laughs> Is that a crazy collector's edition Thor, I see? No, no, that's just a normal one, son. You're blind, son. You're blind. Oh, yeah, yeah it's, it's just the crazy normal, wing things, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look massive. So he scanned him again, and uh, maybe he was looking for any other kind of tech, but to be honest, there are a lot of places he could stash the tech. He's taking back his, his expansion, but Gloop is taking his third base, so his economic lead, especially with the mules, is absolutely sickening. It's a good idea for Zerg to try and keep, if they can, one base. On, he's got an idle SUV there, Gloop. Come on, son, do some more with it. It's a good idea for Zerg to keep one base ahead um, of their opponents. He's not doing that, and Gloop is ahead, and he's tearing. That is not what you want. He's, he's just going to roll him over. Although, actually, have a look at that there. There is a changeling in the middle of Gloop's army. <laughs> By the Thors, can you see it? Oh, yeah, yeah. What the hell did that go? We totally Amazing. missed that. Crazy. So we're going to work on the back door. I don't think he knows he's there, does he? No. Look at him just chilling out. Does he actually look different? No, he's just... Slightly different colour, but that's to us. He doesn't look different in the game. <laughs> that is sneaky. How has he managed to get that in there? Good lord. Magic tricks of pure <laughs> wizard magic tricks. <laughs> Absolutely pure, that is. There's another one as well. What? Where's he? Where is he, Blow? Where's the up other the, one? Up the top, in the main. He's just chilling out next to the factory with the reactor. I think he's about to die, though. His time's running out. Oh, yeah, I see him. Yeah. He's about to go. He's and another to turn one. Into a what glue. the hell? Right in the main? There's a detect, there's a turret next to it. Oh, what? Yeah, but he doesn't detect him, does it? You have to click on them and attack him. I'm sure you do. I'm not... He should know there by now, because he just watched, he just moved his army and watched one die in the middle of his army. <laughs> that is crazed. Mental. I wonder if he just doesn't care. He's just, yeah, he bothered. Well, he is, he is far ahead. I mean, he's going for the level two upgrades on the weapons for the vehicles and, uh, We've got some burrowed infestors. We've got infestors down. If they get fungal para fungal parasite, if they get neural parasite out, oh. that would be quite effective against the Thors. Oh, but I mean, really, me seen this. loads of Thors. He should have done. He's moving with them infestors. Oh dear, he really needs to move the infestors back. Whoa, that is not a clever idea there. You unburrowed infestors and lost them needlessly. He didn't have to do that. I wonder if he's trying to go for a cheeky little attack before they got to his base. Either well, way, he's that got wasn't such great. a massive army, though, really, Gloop. He should just be able to attack, move into this. A couple of good fungal growths could wipe out the Marines, but then he's got the problem of seven Thors, or six Thors even, which is going to be quite problematic. He has taken out most of them, but all Ooh. the Marines are going to die. They're that just was going to fall apart. But the SCVs are there to repair the Thors, and I think, there's, well, there's nothing to stop the Thors, really. There's no neural parasite. There's Queen, who just got blown to pieces. Bye! He's going to lose his hatchery yet again. Hellion <laughs> Thor is absolutely that's king. That's pure mix. It's almost like, um, what's the build? I echo it when you throw the banshees in as well. Good lord, what a build. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. A crazy build. But this is not that build, so don't quote me on that. This is just a crazy gloop. I'm going to kill you with Thor's build. And uh, it's clearly worked. I can only feel for the families of the Marines who got taken down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's All, like, harsh, that is. They probably thought they were going to come back alive because they're protected by loads of massive Thors, but no. Didn't help them out. And there's a GG from Zara Thrustra. So, uh, yeah, he's not a woman, and it's not a girl's name, as Kiriof educated me. It's actually a uh, a classical score. <laughs> so, um, that win goes to Gloop from uh, Warwick University, and he's obviously playing against... Zara from Leeds, so that was a Group B game as well. So congratulations to Gloopy Baby, and uh, make sure you subscribe to us and keep your eyes peeled for more UK UTL stuff. Catch you next time.